Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to show you how to get the next two product to sum conversions or product to sum formulas. For that we're going to use the following two identities. The cosine of a plus b is equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of b and if this is the plus this becomes a minus sine a sine b and the cosine of a minus b is equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of b and the only thing that changes if this is a minus this becomes a plus plus sine a times the sine b now what happens if we add the two equations together all right on the left side we end up with the cosine of a plus b plus the cosine of a minus b equals and that let's see where we have a similar thing right here we have the cosine of a plus b and the cosine of a minus b so that's this right here and on the right side when we add the two together notice that these two will cancel out and we end up with this plus this which is the same which is two times the cosine of a times the cosine of b and then if we divide both sides by two and we turn the equation around we end up with the cosine of a times the cosine of b is equal to the cosine of a plus b plus the cosine of a minus b and the whole thing divided by two which is the third equation that we have so there you can see it's a fairly straightforward way of deriving these equations and now for the um, for the fourth one I'm going to use a different color what we're going to do now is instead of adding the two equations together we're going to subtract this from there so if we do that we end up with the cosine of a plus b minus the cosine of a minus b is equal to so we have this minus this that's zero and this minus this we end up with minus the sine of a times the sine of b minus the sine of a times the sine of b and so we can say that the cosine of a plus b minus the cosine of a minus b is equal to minus two times the sine of a times the sine of b now if i divide both sides by negative two and then i move this to the left and maybe i want to do this in two steps so what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide the right side by minus two and the left side by minus two and so the minus will turn this around so we end up with the cosine of a minus b minus the cosine of a plus b the whole thing divided by 2 is equal to this divided by that cancels out we end up with the sine of a times the sine of b and notice do i have the same thing over here so sure enough the sine of a times the sine of b is equal to one half times the cosine of a minus b minus the cosine of a plus b which is exactly what i have over there and that's how you get those four equations that convert a product to a sum. Very handy in many applications in physics and in calculus. And so therefore, I'd say, don't try to memorize this unless you can really memorize these things easily. I would not recommend it. I've never been able to. I've always forgotten these equations. But I can remember these, and I can remember the sum of a, or the sine of a plus b and the sine of a minus b. And then I can easily calculate and convert that to any one of these four equations and that's what I recommend that you do this is how we do that